New at 10, hundreds of Portage Park neighbors are rallying behind a homeless man. He had been using a local bus stop as a shelter, but the city's Department of Transportation removed it. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza explains. Neighbors call this man the candy man, not because he gives out any candy, because his friendship with Stacy Rozak started yeah, over a candy bar. I asked him, what did he like? And he said sweets and chocolate. So I just kind of candy man. For years, she and about 400 other neighbors organized on Facebook to make sure the candy man was taken care of. They don't know his real name. And like Mondays I'll take, Tuesdays they'll take, um, like tonight's me for chicken pot pie. Um, and we all just kind of go together of what he had, like what he wants to eat. His home base was a bus shelter that sits outside Merrimack Park. Then the city's Department of Transportation removed it. Why would you take the only thing that keeps him from the rain or the, the you know, the snow? Just that's the only thing he had. Rozak says really the candy well. man never asks for help. He didn't want to speak with us on camera today, but she and the community are determined that his new home is looked after. Um, last time I got a hug, so that was cut. That was nice. Um, there's times where he doesn't even know who, really who I am. Um, so sometimes that breaks my heart, but I know he knows. CDOT tells us the alderman requested the move. I've seen people standing out there with an umbrella in the rain. Uh, I see kids waiting out there for, the, for their bus, so it's not right. I have to do what's right by my people, what's right by the neighborhood. Alderman Nicholas Spasato spoke with us over the phone, saying his office had received multiple complaints about the candy man and that he denied help multiple times when it was offered by the city. I've always asked him if he wanted something. He never says he wants anything. If you ask Rozak, she'll say helping him is not about showing up once. There's a lot of people out that need help, and mental health is a big deal. And I just think we need to focus more on that. In Portage Park, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.